Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome I'm Vanessa and this is Nessa CX Beauty and today we are going to put the new Tati Beauty Blendiful to the test. I've had this for the past two days but I haven't opened it because I wanted to open it on camera with y'all and I did have some lighting issues up until today so that's why I couldn't put up the video until right now so I'm just gonna open this and it comes with a mini puff that looks like a heart and the big one that everybody is talking about these do retail for $18 in total I did pay around like $2 shipping so it's around the same price as like a beauty blender and in order to like gauge and like tell y'all how it feels it feels like it has like a sponge inside of it for some reason I don't know it feels very, very, very soft, and I do appreciate the softness, and you know, I wanted to buy it just to test it out and see if this is a gimmick, because you know, I did purchase the Super Sponge, I'm gonna get that really quickly, and here it is, I did buy this off of Tati's recommendation. She loved this sponge. It's a silicone slash sponge hybrid and I hated it. So I wanted to test out her Blendifuls to see if I like it and if I can agree with Tati on this one. So one, congrats Tati. I do love Tati. And two, let's start using it in comparison to my everyday products. So if you're interested in that, just continue watching. So the first thing I wanted to put on my face is the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I do use this in my every single day routine. And on the left side of my face, I'm just going to use my plain old fingers. And then on the right side of my face, I will be using the Tati Beauty Blendiful. I don't think there would be much difference with primer and form of application. I think the big differences are going to be with like foundation, powder, and concealer. Okay, and now we're going to go in on the right. I'm going to pick it up with the pick. Put it onto the sponge. Mm. <laughs> that just flicked off. Put it on the sponge. I don't know. Oh. Okay, that feels so weird. <laughs> I don't know how comfortable I am putting on my primer with this, but it's getting the job done. It just feels really weird. It feels like I'm rubbing a pillow on my face. Okay. Primer application is done. Next up, I wanted to put on my favorite foundation. This is the Maybelline 24 Hour. On this side of my face, again the left, I will be using my Eco Tools blending sponge. What I usually do with this is warm up my foundation on my hand, tap it on with my finger, and then go in with my sponge. And there is the Eagle Tools side of foundation. Now to go in with my Blendiful. I think this is gonna feel weird too. Uh, uh. Oh, my hand's kinda cramping up. <laughs> This isn't too comfortable. <laughs> Ow. My thumb is cramping up. I don't know. Am I holding this wrong? Oh, maybe. Oh, this way feels way better. Um, I do not like doing this. Nope, nope, nope. Not a thing. Not a thing. That was cramping up my thumb very horribly. I do have really small hands and that just was not comfortable at all. And there is the blendiful side. 
under my eye this eye looks way more like what's it called creased than this eye with the sponge I don't know if I can tell any differences with the nose the chin it's pretty I don't know there might be a learning curve I might be using this wrong but it's not bad next up is concealer <laughs> so the concealer I've been using recently is the revolution conceal and define and this is in C5 I've been loving this concealer recently I used to and then I stopped using it and then I started using it again and it is beautiful on the skin one thing I would like to note is that I didn't use all of the foundation with the bundleful side which is a really big pro because I used all of the foundation that was on my hand with the equal to a sponge so if you do want to conserve product I think this may be a good option it might make your foundation last way longer than a sponge would that's a pro but a con is under my eyes looked really weird let's see if like concealer makes a difference in between my brows also looked a little bit dry compared to when I went over with the blue the blue blender <laughs> the, the eagle tool sponge <laughs> so eagle tool sponge and then my chinny chin chin I'll leave the nose for the blendiful into the blendiful oh nah I'm not doing that again my finger is about to cramp up I'm using it like this don't know how much I like this on the under eye at all I feel there's a whole there's a mega difference do you see this right here feel about this on my concealer at all for my under eye maybe I'm gonna add a little more okay it's starting to look better but the beauty blender side did it in two seconds beauty blender the what's it called the eco tool sponge did it in like two seconds but after a few you know i don't want to say minutes a few more seconds of blending it does equate to the eco tool sponge side and i am using the eco tool sponge because that's what i've been using Thank you, Crystal Ryan, for recommending it to me. But you can make it look the same. It just takes a little while longer. And this is how it's looking right now. We about to go into powder, which is something I'm really looking forward to. I don't know. I feel like this would be dope for powder. So the powder that I have been using lately, I ran out of my Believe Beauty powder. So I'm starting to use the Patrick powder from MAC just so I can use it up. And then like continue using all the powders that I have because I got a pretty big powder um, collection. But let's go in with the powder. I got some right in the lid. I'm gonna pick some up with the brush and go under my eye. BT Dubs. This is supposed to be a travel partner so you know it should be replacing your blotting oils so that's something to think about with the little one it does feel different it does feel a little bit more um what's it called 
a little more firm and less like cushiony and soft so i do feel like these are different than each other but that's supposed to like be your be your travel buddy kind of thing so i won't be using that one today but that's just something to think about and it is nice that she did include that in here because i don't really buy oiling oil blotting sheets so i don't know i feel like throwing that in the purse will help me because sometimes i do produce oil especially like when it's warm even though it's you know freezing outside <laughs> but we have the powder all over the face. Well, where we concealed. And it looks good. It did a good job with that. And now on the other side, I'm using my Real Techniques contour brush, which I always use in my everyday routine. And go in under my eyes and everywhere we concealed on the left side of my face. And that is both sides. Chin. Under eye. Forehead and nose. We almost done. We almost done. I'm gonna go into my favorite powder for contour and bronzing. This is the Believe Trio in medium deep. And I'm gonna use the middle of this to see if I can get like a good line with my favorite powder. Right on my hair line. And then on the other side, I'm gonna be using my Luxie Large Angled Brush, which I do use every single day. And that is that. Mm. I don't know if you guys can see, it's a little bit patchy. Okay. I'm gonna diffuse that with a brush. I don't know how much I like it for contouring. It did decent in primer, foundation, and it did decent in concealer and powdering over my concealer, but I don't know how much I'd be using this for that. I also might just be using it wrong, so <laughs> whatever. But next up, we're going to go into blush, which I use the same exact um, trio, but in the middle. I'm going to go in with this side of the brush of the brush of the sponge no of the puff that deposited beautifully and then on the other side i'm gonna be using my real techniques blush brush okay i don't hate it for blush but next up is pretty important it's gonna be the highlighter and I am going in with Magnetic Fields by Arclo Cosmetics with the brush, the Luxie Precision Foundation brush on the left side of my face. So let's go in with this. And it does do the job so I really like it for a few things minus contouring a little skeptical on that part but it does get the job done I'm just gonna diffuse everything with my large brush because this is just something I do all the time on my face I'm gonna set my face
And we are gonna do the final check-in. Honestly, it did it. It did it all. It did. But, I don't think it's better than my Eagle Tool sponge. And I will let you know that it's just because, one, this took a little bit longer to do everything than my sponge did. Like, I was done on this side way sooner than I was done on this side for every aspect of my face. So that's something to consider that this does not save you any time. And nor is it, you know, advertised to do that, but I would have loved for this to save me a little bit of time or like anything, I don't know. She doesn't claim to do it, so I guess I can't, you know, hold it against that. But it just did take a little bit longer and there were like a couple times where I was just like questioning it and it took a little bit longer to catch up to the blend of the beauty blender side. But all in all, finishing my makeup, I do not tell a difference. I can't tell a difference at all. So would I recommend this? Hell yeah, just for the, you know, fact that it does the same thing as my sponge did, but also like don't expect this to save time. And we about to clean this and see how that works because she said you can do soap and water and have it back to normal and then blast it with um, a hair dryer. So I'm going to do that really quickly and then come right back. Okay, so we are back with the Blendiful all washed, dried. I tried my hardest. This took forever to get all of my foundation out of, not going to lie. That was not the fastest process. It took me around like 10 minutes, I wanna say, to get most of the foundation out. There's still a little bit there, but it's not like horrible. The blow dryer did do very well. It is still soft. It's not as soft as it was in the beginning, but while I was washing it, there's like a, it feels like there's a sponge in here. Half of me kinda wants to, cut this open and look on the inside but the other half of me doesn't want to destroy the product i do have a smaller one and if i do regret doing that i can still buy it because this is not um sold out yet <sighs> so i don't know i might just cut this open and this is no disrespect to tati at all no disrespect i am supporting her i do have her palette coming to me in the mail and if i do regretfully you know cut this open i will possibly buy another blendiful but one thing is like it is i think a little bit too big for my hand my thumb was cramping up a lot while i was trying to use it like this and i've seen other people use it like this from their videos and they've had no issues so that might just be something towards me and my sensitive bones but um I don't know if I see myself reaching for this too much in replacement of my, you know, sponge. It is really nifty. You can do everything with it. So I think that's the beauty of this Blendiful. Not necessarily doing the job better, but being useful, being a utility. Instead of, you know, packing up all the brushes and sponges. All you gotta do is pack this little baby up and for travel purposes, I definitely, definitely think this is worth it. But on an everyday, I will definitely not be replacing my beauty blender with this. Maybe just to set my entire face, but like, that's about it. So I think I might have just convinced myself to cut this open. And Tati, no disrespect, I do love you so much. I do respect and you know, support your brand i am getting the palette and if i forget this which i probably might i will buy another one of these but i kind of want to see what's on the inside of this i can't believe i'm doing this oh uh, i feel so ridiculous oh this is so weird i am so sorry I feel 
very weird doing this. Holy crap. Okay. Oh! There's a sponge in here. I feel like I can definitely put this back together with like a sewing needle, but it probably wouldn't do as well as it did. But y'all, this does not have any product in it. The sponge that's inside of this puff does not have any product in it. And that is actually beautiful. I'm wondering how long it would take for stuff to get from the outside to the inside, but from first application, there is nothing. This white sponge is completely, completely clean. I may, I don't know, I may regret this. I might buy another one, but I definitely think somebody needed to do it. Cause I was curious what was on the inside. Cause when I was washing it, it felt like something was in it. So there y'all go. If you are curious of what is inside the Tati Bundafold, there it is super clean that is super impressive like blew my mind impressive that might have given this way more points but don't hate me don't hate me for cutting it open please and that is all i had for y'all today have a great day or night wherever you are in the world i hope to see you soon bye